Well, our speaker this evening is a 1990 graduate of the, graduate of the Academy. He was a valedictorian. He was a four-time Eagle Award winner. He went on to Notre Dame where he graduated summa cum laude with a BA in history and a concentration in public service. 20 years ago, he began his career in education through Notre Dame's Alliance for Catholic Education. He was placed in Hammond, Louisiana at St. Thomas Aquinas Regional High School where he taught history, religion, publication, and publication for three years. He was recognized as Teacher of the Year for the school in 1997. Mr. Moe's returned home to pursue graduate studies at the University of Minnesota's Humphrey Institute for Public Affairs. His master's in public administration focused on education policy and public management, and that led him to a position with the Minnesota Department of Education, where he worked on federal education programs for seven years. His leadership in these areas drew the attention of the St. Paul Public Schools, which recruited him away from the state to serve as the district's director of federal programs. For 10 years, he served in the, districts in the district in a variety of roles, most recently as the chief academic officer. So with that, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Matthew Moles. Good evening, everyone. I know it's a, always a difficult task to stand between a bunch of boys and their cookies. So I will try to be brief, but I also understand that I have quite a legacy to uphold for this uh, the speech. I understand there have been some pretty good ones in previous years, so some of the boys will have to let me know if I've lived up to the expectations. But it's, uh, it's just good evening to all of you. It's a privilege to speak with you tonight as we celebrate the academic accomplishments of all the students who are gathered here. Congratulations to each of you for attaining the highest levels of academic recognition that we offer at the Academy, our Eagle Award. As a school community, it's essential for us to acknowledge the accomplishments and scholarship of our cadets, especially those who have reached our highest bar. On a night where you are receiving an award symbolizing all of your hard work, the studying, the papers, the lab assignments, the tests and quizzes, the class discussions and the group projects, I want to spend a few minutes tonight speaking with you about the interaction between symbols and meaning. After all, symbols are only effective at representing something more than what is readily apparent if we have taken the steps to imbue them with meaning. Take the cross that's hanging above me to your right. Without the context you bring to that symbol, what could it represent? If you're mathematically inclined, maybe it reminds you of an xy axis ready for graphing a function. Sure, that seems silly, but try to strip away the context of what you know, what you have learned, and what you have come to accept as the common meaning of the cross. What meaning could you, would you derive from this symbol? For our community, as a Catholic school, this cross, like others around our campus, is a symbol representing the sacrifice of Jesus Christ through his crucifixion and offers us an ever-present opportunity to recall that sacrifice. Yet did you know that that cross carries with it extra meaning, which we as a community solely ascribe to it? The plaque upstairs reminds us that the cross was commissioned to remember the dedication, wisdom, and knowledge of all STA mothers and in honor of one mother who had passed away at the time of its dedication. For me, and for probably some others on campus, it also serves as a reminder of the contributions of Father Tom Kohler, a longtime faculty member and talented artist who helped lay the foundation for our arts program here on this campus. In his latter years, he publicly struggled with his Parkinson's disease in the twilight of his career. But this cross reminds me of his immense talent that he had and that he shared with this community. The Eagle Award you are receiving tonight symbolizes an important accomplishment in your academic career, the achievement of an annual GPA of 3.67. For some of you, it's the fifth time here at STA, while for others, it's your first. Tonight I ask each of you, what else does this award or this gold bar represent? In the context of the Academy, the threshold for earning an Eagle Award has been set at different points in our history. 
but the award itself has always represented the highest levels of academic achievement. Certainly it means that each of you here tonight did well, exceptionally well, throughout the 2013-2014 school year. It means that you likely earned mostly A's with a few A minuses and B pluses mixed in. But let's deconstruct that for a moment. When you think about it, those grades are just another form of symbol, a symbol of your learning, your effort, your preparation, your diligence. In this process, the grade becomes a proxy for all those other items that you, your parents, and your teachers valued. In no way can that grade fully contain and represent the full meaning of what went into earning those grades. While the grade represents an attainment of excellence and a surpassing of standards, it cannot transmit the sweat of your hard work, the wonder of your new learning, or the frustration of initial failure. Nor can this Eagle Award you receive tonight. So as I close tonight, I want you to consider this question. What does this Eagle Award represent for me? You might not have a plaque to help you remember the meaning you intended to derive from tonight's award, but what do you want to remember about it? Is it the culmination of a goal you set for yourself? Did you write a paper or a poem that made you proud after countless drafts? Did that one B plus in honors algebra two trigonometry come after many extra hours of studying, tutoring, and struggle? Maybe the Eagle Award represents a breakthrough for you, an art project you messed around with until you got it just right, a science laboratory you never thought you'd get right, or a the theological concept that challenged your beliefs. Whatever it represents, try not to let the symbolism of this award mask what you truly learned and what is most meaningful to you. In the end, you'll have this award tucked away in a closet, mounted in a shadow box, or maybe even attached to a custom cadet pillow from your uniform pants. But the meaning you make will carry with you for the rest of your days. Congratulations once again. I'm now gonna turn it over to Mr. Meyer to conclude our programming. Thank you very much.